Hello everyone, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a collective reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are currently connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, I think I'm going to do past person first, and then I'll do um, current slash new person. All right, let's start with past. Spirit angels and guys, please show me how does this past person currently feel about the collective? What are this past person's current feelings for the collective? All right. How does the past person currently feel about the collective? All right, so we do have, interesting, the Knight of Cups. Mm. Okay, well, kind of looks like the past person wants a new beginning with you, collective, with the Knight of Cups. They want to bring their relationship back to life. Hmm. They want to reignite the romance, the attraction, or the passion between the two of you, the emotional connection. Tell me more about this past person's current feelings for the collective spirit. Okay, yeah, King of Wands energy here. Okay, so like I said, they want to reignite the 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 attraction, the passion, the emotions, the romance, the chemistry. Hmm. Let's get another one here. What are this what are this past person's current feelings for the collective? Yeah, six of pentacles. Okay, well that's the relationship between the two of you. They want this relationship back. Why are they in this energy though? This player energy. This feels like a player, you know. It's at the bottom. Ooh, Empress. Hmm. I see. This part, okay. So this past person wants to um, win you over again. They want to conquer you. They see it as a challenge. Hmm. Knight of Pentacles and the Chariot. They're, they're not a Knight of Pentacles. I don't know why they're presenting themselves this way, but this is not who they are. They're a King of Wands, male or female. Doesn't matter the gender, but they are going to present themselves as the Knight of Pentacles, which is not true. Knight of Pentacles is someone who's very consistent, reliable, committed, loyal, I'm not getting that from their energy. This feels like a player energy with the King of Wands. But we'll see. I'll clarify. All right. What do I want to do here? Tell me about this Knight of Cups spirit and this person, this past person's current feelings for the collective. Yeah, even with the Six of Pentacles, this feels like the energy of someone who, who wants to reel you in or... They want to reel you in with breadcrumbs. Mm. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles and their this past past person's feelings for the collective. Wheel of Fortune, yeah, comfort, double confirmation here that they want to uh, resurface back up into your life with the Wheel of Fortune. That's what they're thinking about, at least. What else can you tell me about the Knight of Cups? The Seven of Cups. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah, it kind of looks like this person, they're not successful finding a replacement with the Seven of Cups. They haven't been successful finding another option that they feel attracted to, the way that they're attracted to you and the way that they feel connected to you. 
and captivated by you because this is someone who definitely feels really intrigued by you and captivated and um, they feel passionate about you. So they haven't been able to find um, another option that compares to you. I feel like this person has options though because they are showing up as King of Wands. King of Wands always has multiple options, you know. King of Wands always gets a lot of attention from people, male or female, doesn't matter the gender. But I just feel like this person feels like those options are not good enough for their standards because they this person is showing up as someone who does have a specific type, you know. They're like a specific type of person. Yes, they are a player, but they're they're also picky. They're also selective. So yeah, it, it kind of looks like these options are not good enough. Um, and that's why they want to return back to you because um, so far nobody has been able to outshine you. You are showing up as an empress here, male or female, doesn't matter gender. No one has been able to outshine you thus far. Tell me about the King of Wands. I mean, it won't happen anyways, unless they find another empress. Empress is the, um, the best of the best, the total package. All right, world card is flipped over while I was shuffling. So it does look like there was a separation or a break between you and this person. And they want to bridge that gap between the two of you. They want to get rid of this distance. Mm. What else can you tell me about the King of Wands? Uh, yeah, the death card. So again, it looks like there was a separation, a breakup, an ending between the two of you with the world and the death card. And um, the thing is that this person, like I said, they they still feel a lot of passion and desire for you. That and like I said, they haven't been able to find anyone that compares to you, that comes close to comparing to you. Okay. What else can you, what can you tell me about the Six of Pentacles? Oh boy, well, look who's here, the devil. The devil with the Six of Pentacles. That's not good that's not a good combination. That basically means that this person wants it all for nothing. You know, they want it all for free. They want your time, they want your energy, they want your emotions. They want, they want it all from you, but for free. They don't want you to expect anything back in return from them. So definitely getting a very selfish energy from this person with the king of wands and the devil. Selfish, arrogant, self-centered. Hmm. Yeah, seven of cups and the devil. Um, they're still, they're not going to close off from their other options, even though these options are not good enough for them. Um, they'll still entertain these options. Regardless, they'll still entertain those options regardless, um, but they want you as well. So greedy, very greedy. All right, let's take a deeper look at their intentions, though I think it's kind of obvious. Like I said, they're going to come towards you as the Knight of Pentacles. This is not true. This is just what they think is going to help them win you back or win you over so they're gonna come off as someone who's very mature 
responsible, reliable, serious, someone who wants to um, create a stable relationship with you and, you know, make things right with you and be stable with you. That's not what they're looking for. They're looking more for um, victory. They see you as a challenge. They want to feel like victorious, like they like it, they won you over. It's like they want that power. They want that control with the devil card. They are very attracted to you, though, obviously. But they also want that power and control. That's kind of like their main um, objective. Their main objective is to gain control over you. Yikes. What am I going to do here? Um, I don't feel like I need to look at their intentions. It's just very obvious. Let's see what they're going to do. Let's see what actions are they going to take. Spirit angels and guys, what, what actions will this, pers this past person be taking towards the collective moving forward? What actions will this past person, what is this, magician? So they're going to try to manifest you back into their life. What actions will this past person take towards the collective moving forward? We also have the temperance card. We also have the world card. What in the world? And we have strength here again. Um, the Empress again. Strength and the Three of Cups and the Hangman. And the Death card. Mm. I want to look at you for sure. I'm just curious. All right. Let me clarify these actions because this was three major arcanas. It's pretty big. Big energy here. Tell me about the magician and their actions towards the collective moving forward. I'm getting strong liar energy from this person. Liar vibes from them. Tell me about the magician and their actions. Queen of Wands. Oh, yikes. Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. Mm -mm. So you two have an on and off relationship with each other. Toxic on and off relationship with each other. And they, their intentions is to continue that, you know, with the world card. To continue the cycle. The repetitive toxic cycle between the two of you. We do have the world and the devil here. See? Repetitive toxic cycle. Mm. Uh, three of Cups wanted to show here. I saw the Three of Cups already. I get it. Tell me about the Temperance card. Why is the Temperance card here in their actions? Yeah, like the Three of Cups is here. Is it? Two of Pentacles, clarifying the Temperance card. Why the Two of Pentacles? The Queen of Pentacles, yeah, they're juggling you with somebody else. Queen of Pentacles is not you. Queen of Pentacles is definitely a third party that they're entertaining. This is a relationship that feels boring to them. It feels boring. It feels lackluster. You know, it's it feels just, you know, not exciting. So it's not necessarily the relationship that they want or the the connection that they want, they want you because apparently they're looking at you as someone who they have a really passionate connection with and this third party is just safe. It's a safe option for them. And that's how they view the, this person. They view them as safe, as a safe backup plan, which is really ugly. That's disrespectful, but that's how they view them. All right, tell me about the world. 
but they're gonna try to make things right with you and recover the relationship with you because they would rather not be in that other relationship, you know? Like I said, they would rather be with you. So they're gonna see if they can, this is the thing though, they're gonna see if they're gonna try, to, if they can make things right with you and like recover the relationship with you, but the, I don't see them letting go of that other option. Like that other option is not going anywhere. They're gonna keep them there. So, you know, what's the point? All right, what's the world card in their actions? We have the three of wands. So in regards to like their future, you're the one who they wanna have a future with. You're the one that they want to establish a long-term relationship with. Hmm. But they're not really optimistic that they'll be able to pull that off because you're not, you don't go with the flow with the queen of wands. You don't go with the flow. You don't follow their lead. You're someone who is a leader in your own, like, you're, you, you yourself are a leader, like you yourself are someone who's independent and someone who's very intelligent, someone who's very self-sufficient, you know, someone who has opinions, someone who's intelligent. Did I say that? I don't know if I said that. And you're someone who knows your worth. You're not going to um, follow anyone's lead. So basically, if you see something that's unfair, you're going to call them out on it. Like you're going to speak up about it. Which is very different from this other option that they have. This other option is very like, um, what do you call that? Like very submissive, you know? So they wanna be in a long-term relationship with you. Because they see themselves in a long-term relationship with you, but they want you to like be under their control, you know, and, and do everything under their terms. And they know that's not gonna happen though because you're the queen of wands. So you're not gonna follow their lead. That's why they feel, they feel like it, it's unlikely that you two will have a long-term relationship, even though that's what they want. I also feel like they're gonna try to make it happen. Even though they feel like it's unlikely, they, they're, they're gonna still make it happen. They're, sorry, they're gonna still try to make it happen because this person likes a challenge. They like to be challenged. They're not going anywhere, you know, they're going to continue um, pursuing you and, you know. And trying to like um, seduce you and win you over for as long as you allow it, basically. I just don't see this person ever being um, loyal, if you know what I mean. All right. What was I going to do here? I'm not, I'm, I don't need to look anymore. I think we're done here. This is their actions. All right, let's see the outcome. Let's see what's going to happen. This is their actions. All right, um, what's the outcome between the collective and this past person? What will, this, um, what will the collective do? In response, so we have the Sun, we have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Tower, we have the Page of Cups. King of Swords is at the bottom. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. All right, what is this? Tell me about the sun and the knight of pentacles and the outcome. 
Hermit, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Ooh, very nice. Okay, beautiful. Tell me about the Tower and the Page of Cups. King of Swords, Knight of Swords, Eight of Swords. Great. All right, so this person is definitely going to... I feel like they're, they're, they might even try to offer you a commitment, but you already know what's up <laughs> with the Queen of Wands. Um, it's almost like you don't take this person seriously anymore. Um, they're going to come towards you with an apology and, you know, making it seem like, you know, they want to have a commitment. They want to settle down. They want to have an equal partnership with you and a formal equal relationship with you. Um, you're not going to buy it is what's happening here. The tower is happening here. So they're going to end up very disappointed because um, they're not going to convince you or persuade you of their intentions because you are already illuminated here with the sun card. You already know the truth. It does look like you are going to have a, a new connection here. Ace of Wands to the Knight of Pentacles. This feels like a new person. Um, you're not going to be very open to this new person because it does look like you're, you're in a healing process. You're going through a healing process. So you're still going to be feeling really sensitive and, you know, hurt and wounded, disappointed because of this previous person here, this past person. So I don't know if this new person will get through to you or not. Let's see what's going to happen with this new person for the collective Knight of Pentacles to the Ace of Wands. Temperance, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, great. Nice. So this person is definitely someone very wise, very mature, someone who's definitely looking for a commitment. Three of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. This is someone who is very like friendly and um, a good, good conversationalist is what I want to say. I feel like they're a very happy person, a very optimistic person. Could be a Sagittarius. Um, I feel like they're going to be really interested in you. Um, they're going to come towards you correctly. Um, they're going to try to get to know you and go out with you. And they're not going to try to rush anything, but they're definitely going to try to get this relationship to move forward with you um, because they're just going to know what they want immediately. They're going to see you and they're going to feel um, like you're the one for them pretty quickly. And I do see them being very... Um, proactive towards um, bringing this relationship together or bringing or manifesting this relationship between the two of you. Um, but at the same time, it's like they're not going too quick. It's interesting. It's like they're not going too quickly and they're not going too slow. They have a good balance, you know, a pretty good balance there. But I don't see you being very receptive how is the collective going to react to this new person? How is the collective going to react to this new person here? Eight of Cups, like I said, and the Ten of Wands, you're still healing from this past person that you um, experienced failure with. Your mind is going to be a little bit distracted. It does look like you're interested, though, with the Hermit card. You're interested in this new person, but you're kind of scared to go there with them. You, you might feel like it's a little bit too soon. All right, tell me more. How is this relationship going to develop between the collective and this new person? Moving forward, chariot to the king of cups, to the emperor and the magician and the ten of pentacles. Okay. Well, I like this person's um, tenacity. Looks like this new person is going to have, is going to be very tenacious. Interesting. 
They're definitely looking for a commitment. They're convinced that you're the one for them, that you're the one that, um, that you're the, you're their perfect match. Hmm. Yeah, this person is looking like for marriage. I'm getting for some of you, they're looking for marriage. They're looking for like a husband or a wife, male or female, doesn't matter the gender. Or they're just looking for that, for a, a true, stable commitment, a life partner. It, it feels like this person's ready for that. They feel like it's time. Why is this person so like, um, I don't know, invested? They're very, very invested here. King of Cups to the Emperor. The High Priestess. Oh, okay. They just feel, it just feels right to them. The High Priestess. It's like their intuition. Their intuition is telling them that you're the one who they're supposed to be with. Oh, you know what it is too, is that they can see that you're nervous. Like they can see that you're hesitant and that you're... You're scared, you're, you're insecure, um, again, due to what you went through with this past person. Um, it's almost like, oh, you know what it is? They can read your mind. They can read your energy with the high priestess. They know that you're just acting this way because of fear. It's almost like they know that you're someone who wants love. You want a something serious. You want a serious relationship. You're just too scared to go, go for it because of the pain that you went through with this past person. So they're going to really understand you almost like telepathically. This person is going to read your energy, read your mind, read your emotions. Um, they're going to understand why you're acting the way you're acting. And they're going to be very um, gentle and, and patient. It's interesting because it does look like um, there's a part of them that is frustrated. They're frustrated because they want this relationship to happen. And it'll, it, almost, it almost looks like you're, you're putting the brakes I feel like you are entertaining this relationship. You're just, you're being very slow. Like you're, you're being very slow to open up and you're not really letting them in and they're going to feel a little bit frustrated about that. But at the same time, they're going to be very sympathetic and they're going to like see things from, from your perspective. They're going to put themselves in your shoes. So they are going to be very patient here with you. And they're going to try to be as supportive as possible. They're also going to try to give you as much reassurance as possible to, to make you feel safe with them, to make you feel like, you know, they really do have feelings for you and they really want, they do really want something genuine with you, a genuine relationship with you. I mean, this person is scared also. That's the thing. It's not, it's not like you're the only one who's scared. It does feel like this person is also scared. They, don't, they also don't know what to expect. But they're, they're a little bit more willing to go for it. In a way, it does feel like you two are very similar. I am getting like a strong, similar energy between the two of you. Both of you are, both of you have experienced heartbreak in your past. Both of you have experienced pain and, and grief and disappointments. And this person is also scared and nervous the same way that you feel. But I feel like they're a little bit more willing. Um, however, I do feel like they are reacting off off of your energy. So because you're being very closed off, I feel like this person is also kind of remaining more closed off than they normally would because they don't want to scare you away. They don't want to trigger you. So they're going to try to be very 
you know, gentle, so to speak, with you, like, hmm. Yeah, they're gonna try to be like very um, slow until they feel like you're ready to be more um, vulnerable with them. You two do have a little bit of a problem though because I, I feel like you two are a little bit similar, too similar in that aspect uh, of fear. I, I actually feel like this person also has a lot of fear that's equal to your fear. But I feel like what's what's making them scared is the fact that you're scared. You know, the fact that you seem um, closed off, that you seem a little bit shy or, you know, you seem like you're retracting your energy. And that is kind of triggering them a little bit to also be scared, if that makes sense. Okay. Hmm. What was I going to say here? What else can you tell me about um, what's going to happen between the collective and this new person moving forward? Spirit. Six of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Fool, Seven of Swords, the Five of Swords. The Lovers, Nine of Swords, Six of Cups, Strength, Ace of Swords. And the Ten of Cups, oh, okay. Six of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, The Fool, Seven of Swords. It's going to take you a while to trust this person. Um, again, you you are in the middle middle of a healing process. Um, however, I do feel like um, this person will win you over because I do feel like this person eventually will um, confess their feelings and open up about their feelings. And I feel like they're they're gonna be a lot more forward with you and upfront with you. Yeah, but you're difficult, definitely. Collective, you're definitely uh it's going to it's going to be difficult here. This this person has their work cut out with them for sure. Their work cut out for them. Um but I do feel like feelings are going to get stronger between the two of you. We do have the 10 of cups. I do feel like ultimately there is going to be a success here. But it feels like it was a hard road. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Justice, Ace of Cups, King of Wands. Okay, good. In a way, I feel like you two might be a little bit too similar to each other. And I feel like that's really what makes this process harder or this, this manifestation um, more difficult and more, more longer and like harder to develop. Because in a way, I feel like you two are are a little bit too similar. You know, I feel like you're very connected to your feelings, and I feel like they're very connected to their feelings. And I feel like you're you're worried and scared, and I feel like they're worried and scared. There's something about you two being very, very similar to each other. Though they do seem to have a little bit more confidence. And I feel like that's why this relationship is going to get out of, of stagnancy. Because I feel like it is going to become stagnant at some point. But I feel like it's going to get out of that stagnancy. Because this person's a little bit more confident. They're gonna they're gonna um they're gonna take that leap of faith. And it is a leap of faith because I don't see you giving them the green light necessarily. I see you continuing to be kind of res retracted in your energy. So I don't really feel like you're giving them the green light. I just feel like they're going to take that leap of faith with you. 
And I feel like it's going to turn out um, favorable here with the Ten of Cups. Okay, so collective, I'm going to stop the reading right here. I hope this reading helped. This, this reading might have been very specific, you know, for, for a specific group of people, you know. Um, but hopefully it helped whoever needed to hear that. Um, and yeah, please remember to give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.